In today's video, Toby Dog is gonna meet the baby duckling and all of the goslings. So you're gonna make some new friends. You ready for that? Huh? You ready for that, buddy? Hopefully you don't eat them. So the indoor goslings now are mostly about two weeks old, and so I think it's about time that Toby started to get used to baby birds. If he's gonna be a livestock guardian dog, he needs to know how to act around birds of all sizes. Here you go, guys. It's okay. Seems like the parents are catching on. I'm kind of curious about these guys. Come, come, come. Come, come. I'm not quite sure what it is, but Toby seems afraid of these little guys. Maybe it's because the geese keep hanging out. I gotta admit, I'm a little shocked with just how skittish Toby is around the goslings. I think I've trained him so much to like give ducks and geese their space and not get in their way. When he sees these little tiny birds that smell and kind of look like ducks and geese, he gets way the heck away from them. I think I need to put him in little closer quarters with one of the goslings just to see how things go. Toby, hey Toby, come here. Toby, come here. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come on, Toby. It's okay, Toby. See? It's okay. We do nice with these. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. In bringing my goslings outside, I know I have to be careful about letting them get too cold, and I also know that I need to keep them safe. The barn cats would devour them in a moment. I also kind of wonder how the adult geese are gonna do with the little baby goslings. Even though the goslings are the children of the adults, they don't recognize them and they don't have that familiarity that they do with like the two little goslings that they're raising themselves. It's kind of fun to see the geese so interested in the young ones. You can't tell if they think they're a threat or they're interested in them. You can see the two little babies right there sticking close to the moms. So right there, the smallest one in the flock, you can kind of see her wandering right behind the GoPro there. She is the same age as those two, and they're looking about the same size. It's tough to tell. I do wonder who's gonna grow faster and bigger, whether being out here naturally hanging out with their parents, eating grass all day, is gonna make for bigger, healthier goslings or if having optimal feeding and warmth conditions will make for bigger and better goslings. It's gonna be kind of interesting to see how that experiment plays out. Toby long since has learned to keep his distance from the geese. Whoa, hey! I think that actually might be why the little ones make him so nervous because I know he's seen these little ones out walking the yard on a regular basis and he knows not to get too close. 
I've been basically letting these birds wander around free for the last two or three days. I cleaned out the nest of all the eggs and I gave a couple of the final eggs I had left from the geese to uh, my friends over at Sugar Feather Farm. Hopefully they have some luck hatching out some more pilgrims. But I'm done with goose hatching for this year. It's all focused on ducks now. You guys have no chill at all. All right, you can get out. Go, go on, go get out. I guess they really don't want to hang out with the little ones. They're just curious about them, but not interested in being with them. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah, you got some water around, Swanson. Yeah, it's your favorite. Everybody gonna discover it? Oh, Ron Swanson made it all the way in. Oop, it's a pool party, official. Uh -oh. oh, look at little pig widgeon. She made it all the way in. Can you get out? Can you get out? Who else wants to go in? You guys are having so much fun with this. Looks like Toby's discovered the other new addition to our farm, Penelope. So earlier this morning, we actually went and picked up a new chicken. Let me introduce to you Penelope, the black silky. She's a nice little tiny bird. She's got a little spunk to her as well. We've got Penelope here to be a friend and companion to our other half silky, uh, Bernie. We originally got Bernie to be with the other chicken that we have, Margie the murder chicken, but Margie was a little bit too aggressive with her, and so I paired Margie up with two white leghorns. But just so Bernie's not all alone, we got Penny here to keep her company. Now with these two birds, I actually want to try to use them to hatch ducklings. Um, silkies are known for their nest sitting ability and broodiness and good mom nature, and I'm hoping I can encourage at least one or not two of these birds at some point this year to uh, hatch out a little clutch for me. Back in your crate you go. There you go. So we've learned our lesson from chicken introduction failures in the past. Right now what we're doing is we're keeping the two of them side by side and near each other, but we're not going to introduce them directly. So what we're going to do is I'll wait till tonight and then I'll sneak in and I'll put Penelope inside Bernie's house and the two will wake up together and they should be cool in the morning. I feel like we're witnessing a nature film in action. Whoop! <laughs> that little one just snuck right through. Do you see that? Oop, the other one got in too. Parents are about to freak out. Maybe the babies will first. They're like, we're going. You can come with us or not. It's like planet Earth farm life, I swear. <laughs> I'm really impressed with how attentive the parents are to those goslings. The geese are much more nurturing than those ducks. 